And new tonight, Hall of Fame basketball coach Jim Calhoun's responding to accusations of sex discrimination. This comes after a former employee at the University of St. Joseph's filed a lawsuit against the school. Chelsea's Ea Galal has the latest. Tonight, Jim Calhoun is firing back. The basketball coach is denying allegations of sexual discrimination made by a former associate athletic director at the University of St. Joseph. In this new statement, Calhoun says, I firmly and unequivocally at no time knowingly treated any woman unfairly because of her gender. Let me be clear, I have never treated any woman inappropriately. These remarks come after a former employee, Jacqueline Piscatelli, sued the University of St. Joseph in federal court on Wednesday. She alleges she was fired after complaining about the conduct of men in the athletic department. While Calhoun is not named as a defendant in the lawsuit, Piscatelli accuses him of turning the athletic department into a boys club after he was hired to form and coach the school's men's basketball team. Piscatelli alleges Calhoun once called her hot and forced her to open his office door for him, even though he had the keys. She also accuses the basketball legend of forcing her to pick up coffee K-cups after he stepped on them, saying if he made such a mess at home, his wife would clean up after him. In his statement, the former UConn coach says, I voted for Hillary. I married a feminist, and I have stood in support for women's rights and equality for all for as long as I can remember. The University of St. Joseph says they're reviewing the lawsuit and that they take all matters relating to Title IX very seriously. Now we did reach out to the University of St. Joseph to see if they'd be commenting on this new statement. A spokesperson for the university says they have nothing to add to Coach Calhoun's remarks. Reporting in West Hartford, Aya Galal, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.